Hello, I'm Jonathan Dunsky, author of The Adam Lapid Mysteries, and today I'd like to tell you about a crime novel by the name of Stick by Elmer Leonard. Stick is a sequel of Swag, a novel that I previously reviewed on this channel. You can find a link in the description to that review. In case you haven't uh, read Swag, I urge you to not continue watching this review of Stick because I'm going to be talking about several things that happen in Swag, including its ending, and I don't want to ruin it for you. Swag is a fun novel, uh, which I recommend that you read, so go ahead and do that and then come back and watch this review whenever you're done. Swag is the story uh, of Ernest Stickley, who partnered with a guy called Frank Ryan, and together they uh, conducted a string of uh, armed robberies in and around Detroit. The novel Swag ends when Stickley and uh, Frank Ryan are arrested and imprisoned uh, and, and, and their, story, their story together ends there. The novel Stick, and Stick being the nickname of Ernest Stickley, begins seven years after the events of Swag uh, when Stickley is released from prison. His partner, Frank Ryan, died in prison, but we that's that isn't really told it's just something that we learn uh as we read stick so stick is released from prison he moves to florida where his ex-wife and teenage daughter live he hasn't seen his daughter for seven years and he wants to reconnect with her he is also trying to find a way to uh get back to regular life and he's not sure exactly how to do that. He doesn't want to go back to prison. His time there was difficult and traumatic, but he also doesn't really have a lot of marketable skills with which to make his way in, in, in the straight and narrow world, nor is he the sort of guy who uh, will, be just, will be happy to just you know, take a, a low-end job and try to make ends meet and, and go through life that way. In the beginning of Stick, uh, Ernest Stickley, Stick uh, meets with a, a criminal called Rainey, someone he met in prison. And Rainey is part of an organization run by a guy called Chucky, who it's an organization that deals with drugs and perhaps other uh, criminal activities. Chucky wants Rainey to deliver a bag containing $200,000 to a man called Nestor, Nestor being one of Chucky's suppliers. What Ray and he promises Rainey $5,000 to make this delivery. What Rainey doesn't know is that the money in the bag, the $200,000, is payment from Chucky to Nestor because Chucky uh, screwed up uh, an earlier shipment, resulting in the loss of $200,000 worth of uh, merchandise and also in the death of one of Nestor's men. So Nestor is, is interested not only in getting his $200,000 back as compensation, he also wants to take a life uh, in payment for the life of the man he lost, uh, the life of someone in Chucky's organization. And Chucky has decided that Rainey is going to be that fall guy. But Rainey asks uh, stick to come along with him on this delivery. Chucky is surprised by that, but he agrees and he calls Nestor's people and tell them and tells them to, you know, kill Stick instead of killing Rainy because he doesn't know Stick and he doesn't dislike Rainy. He just needed to uh, sacrifice someone to keep uh, Nestor off his back. So Rainy and, Ch and Stick go to make that delivery. Things happen. Rainy ends up dead, Stig gets away, uh, so, now he, uh, so now he's in, 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 in trouble with both Chucky and Nestor's people, because Nestor uh, doesn't like Stick being uh, alive, knowing that uh, he got Rainy killed and that they, he's also a guy who was dealing drugs and, and so on. And Chucky doesn't like that as well, and Nestor is leaning on Chucky to find Stick to get this thing uh, wrapped up to uh, tie off all the loose ends. Stick, surprisingly, 
doesn't decide to get as far away from there as possible. He wants to stick around in Florida because he wants to be involved in his daughter's life. So Stick uh, becomes the chauffeur of a guy called Barry Stamm. And the way that he gets this job is, is classic Elmer Leonard. Uh, Barry Stamm is this uh, rich investor. He invests in stocks and commodities and options and what have you. And he goes out of a, a restaurant or a bar and goes to his car and his chauffeur is supposed to be there waiting for him. But the chauffeur has, has gone missing or just disappeared, gone away somewhere. And Barry Stamm doesn't have the keys to his car. But Stick is, happens to be by and, and, and Stick is a, is a professional car thief, not just a, uh, an armed robber. So he makes a bet with Barry Stamm that he can get into the car, the car and, and get it running in less than a minute. And he does so. Uh, so Barry Stamm offers him the job of chauffeur. Uh, so Stick suddenly finds himself with a steady job uh, but he doesn't like being told what to do, what to wear as the chauffeur, you know, wearing a certain uniform that fits one of Barry Stam's multiple cars. He doesn't like waiting for him when he goes to dinner or when he goes to meet someone. But as he's driving him, he gets to hear Barry Stam talk on the phone constantly about his various deals and uh, investments. He also gets to meet uh, Barry Stam's financial advisor, a woman by the name of Kyle, who is very sharp and smart and successful. And she and Stick connect in, in, in a way, uh, even though they come from completely different worlds. She is, uh, she's younger. Uh, she ha doesn't have any criminal, uh, doesn't have a criminal record. Uh, and Stick, of course, is a professional criminal. But they connect emotionally, physically, and they have a sort of a romance together. But the story is always about Stickley trying to find his way now that he's released, uh, trying to get involved in his daughter's life, trying to make money without uh, risking uh, another imprisonment, without risking losing his freedom. And he sort of learns that you can make a lot of money by investment uh, or, or by playing the market that doesn't involve work and part of the uh, part of the charm of him being a criminal in his old life is that he never wanted uh, to make his money by working a job but he also has to deal with Nestor and Chucky and things get even more complicated because Chucky is a close friend of Barry Stamm Chucky is sort of uh, half legitimate and half criminal so everything mixes together there are a lot of colorful characters, a lot of crazy criminals, and everything weaves together beautifully. And the story is not just told from Stick's point of view, uh, but from the viewpoint of multiple characters, and the story shifts between them seemingly effortlessly, and it's a great piece of writing. Stick is a much better novel than Swag. As I, told in my, as I said in my review of Swag, I, I thought it was a fun novel, I enjoyed it. But Stick is, is, is a much better story, a much better novel. And I think it's because the characters are more interesting. The, the, the story of Stick himself, the way that he tries to navigate his new world, his new freedom, is also a more fascinating story, uh, a deeper story than the one told in Swag. And in addition, the character of Kyle, the uh, investment advisor with whom Stick connects, uh, she's, she's a great character in and, of it, in and of herself, and there wasn't any strong uh, female character in swag like Kyle is in Stick. So overall, this is another great and fun novel by Elma Leonard. Uh, better than swag, but swag was also very good. And the ending is just uh, beautiful in a way. There is sort of a little twist there that, uh, that I think you're going to like. So I read this novel or I listened to the audiobook, which was terrific and I enjoyed it a lot. So check it out if you're in the mood for a crime novel set in Florida involving a lot of colorful and, and, and zany characters, uh, something that is light in tone but also has uh, deep moments and, and a deep journey for its main character.